Hello DVC friends. Today we are at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. We're gonna be taking the tour of the DVC rooms while we're here. If this is your home resort, welcome home. It's not ours, but we feel at home. So come along with us and let's take a look at these rooms. Okay, folks, so here we go. We're in the uh, two bedroom at Jumbo House. So we're gonna go right back into the rooms here to start. And of course, straight ahead, you have the stackable washer and dryer. And then going into the right, we have a double vanity with, of course, the vanity mirror that's lit. Straight ahead, we have a mirror and, of course, the water closet, toilet. I like the tile work that's in there. Of course, the reference to Animal Kingdom. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Lion King, <laughs> I should say. And then the soaker tub. This is the model room, the two bedroom model. We have a closet area here. Some storage, of course, the drawers the desk and as always the plug-ins for your smart devices right over here overlooking the pool area I like the uh, grass rooftops that's always neat and of course again Disney theming everything is uh, themed to what you're supposed to be experiencing so a nice uh, balcony area, seats too. And I like also how they did the rooftop. So you're not looking at just a roof. It's actually painted um, nicely. You see the thatch roofs there straight ahead. And of course, large pool area with uh, tropical plants. Uh, there is a snack bar back there. We'll be doing a walk around at some point in one of our videos. But we'll go back into the corner here give you a look at the bedroom here of course references to Africa and the lamps looks like a ostrich egg pretty cool there's a nightstand on each side of the bed with of course uh, plug-ins for everyone seating an extra chair here really want to it does have a ceiling fan that's what you're hearing perhaps in the background again nightstand on each side and the bed the details a little splash of Disney in the room here Have the TV on with a little bit of music. That's a nice photo of the overview of the resort. If you've not been out this way, stayed this way, it is very close to uh, the Animal Kingdom Park. Okay, now we're gonna go into the other living area. And here is the living room. with a dining area. Looks like it would seat five comfortably. And of course, since it is a two bedroom, you're gonna have more than the one balcony that you get with a studio. So you have additional seating here. Nice view of the resort. Stand in the back corner here and kind of do a turnaround view. You have some storage here below the television and then down below over here is the couch it is a pull out it is not a murphy bed but again nice decor nice reference references back to remind you that you are at animal kingdom lodge the tiles here are very nice nicely themed So 
So the kitchen is a full kitchen. You have a full size refrigerator. Get that opened up. No ice maker, got an ice tray, but no ice maker. And then a nice size refrigerator. Of course, being a DVC resort room, you have it fully stocked with utensils and supplies to be able to do your cooking and dining at the resort here. Uh, they have pots and pans, Every, everything supplied. Uh, oven top, stove top, and also the oven with a microwave. Looking here, they have a drip coffee maker and toaster. Dishwasher. Let's see, yeah, nice size dishwasher here. And sink area, countertop, nice countertop area. And of course, your additional dishes for eating. And a nice island for preparing your meals. Straight across from the island, you got your storage, closet. You're gonna have your vacuum cleaner. Why do you have a vacuum cleaner? Uh, well, because it's not a hotel room. It is a timeshare room. Uh, so if you need to touch up where the kids uh, spilt their cocoa puffs or whatever they're having uh, for breakfast. You can run that over without having to call someone from room service. They will come and take care of what you need to have them take care of. You know, if this happens, uh, we've had it happen before. One of the kids has an accident and they have to come in and do fresh bedding. We always tip them. Not that it happens all the time, uh, but um, if it does, we call them up, they come in and change the bedding and take care of that. But we always, uh, we, we do tip, you know, for that type of a service that's above and beyond what they would regularly do. So we appreciate that. Here's your other balcony. This is a lock off to a uh, studio, deluxe studio. So with that, you have your television. Um, just like uh, the other side, but when you have a lock off, there's an advantage if you get a lock off. Uh, Gail pointed this out in one of our videos when we were covering Wilderness uh, Lodge for Copper Creek. The lock off there, you get two couches, two pull out couches. Um, so if you have two couples that are traveling, they have their own kind of living space. Let's say you have a couple of kids, adult kids. You know, they kind of have their own living space, you know, a little bit of privacy. Again, the uh, theming that Disney continues to do an excellent job at, you know, given uh, a theme and following it through. You have a nightstand on the one side here. Uh, you have an end table by the couch, a couple of tables here. And of course you saw the uh, chair and table. Say if you're going to be eating in your room, even though this would be a studio, deluxe studio, you have a place to, uh, you know, heat up your food with your microwave. You have your toaster, so you got a place to eat. Um, get this refrigerator open. Refrigerator, there is no freezer in this refrigerator, but you do get some supplies uh, with your kitchen. Get some paper plates, plasticware, you know, toaster, which is nice. Uh, drip coffee, drip, drip coffee maker, uh, Mr. Coffee. Uh, some starter supplies. Uh, room service, or housekeeping, I should say, will bring you additional supplies. If you need more coffee or, uh, you know, creamers, you know, things of that nature, they'll, they'll bring those up, roll of paper towels or whatever. Uh, again, you have the theming of the, uh, Backsplash there, sink area. We turn uh, around here. We have the uh, hello. We have the double vanity straight ahead, and again the theming in the mirrors. You know uh, details that Disney has and the lighting. And then this because the deluxe studio will have uh, stand up shower and tub 
area with nice tile work. So very nice rooms. Now again, this would be a two bedroom lock off. So if we close this door, all of a sudden we are in a studio. And then if you're looking for a two bedroom, you're gonna be able to open this up as many of you know, and be able to go into the one bedroom, turning it into a two bedroom. We'll open up this closet area just to show you what's here. You got your safe and you have your hair dryer. So I do see a iron, but no ironing board, but this is a model, so I'm sure the other rooms do. And here's your detailing again on the closet space there. So this is a tour. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, this is a tour of your one bedroom lock off with a studio attached. Uh, very roomy, lots of space for a family. Um, you will sleep uh, four in this room. I don't think that this one will take five, although you have this bench here. Uh, you could have someone sleep on the uh, kitchen bench and then going over into the studio. Again, just to give an overview of the size of the room, uh, you will have your pull out and also your bed. So that is going to do it for this tour of this room, but don't go anywhere because we are going to go and look at a three bedroom also. So let's go. All right, everybody, we made the quick trip over to Kadani Village from Jumbo House, and that's about I don't, well, depending on how fast you walk, five to 10 minutes to uh, get to the other building. We took a shuttle, we cheated. We took the shuttle. They have a uh, shuttle that will go and take you from one of the buildings to the other building, depending on where you're staying and where you want to be and take a tour. So it's a little bit different over here. We're going to do a full walkthrough and another video. But right now we're here to look at the three bedroom at uh, the Kadani Village. So let's go. All right, so this is the start of a three bedroom villa. Knock on the door. It's a power door, it automatically opens up. Genius. No, that was Gail. She's hiding from the camera today. But uh, you come in, this is a three bedroom model. Okay, so the beds are gonna be pulled out of it. DVC is using it for office space, as you can see. Love the chairs, uh, but we'd rather have a, a king size bed. As in the two bedroom lock off, you can see the lamps themed with the ostrich eggs there, but a nice size room with access to the uh, balcony here. We'll come outside. He's got the door open. So we got our balcony and boom. That's a big balcony there, folks. That is a super large balcony. Uh, let's take a second and Look at the animals outside there. We got giraffes, antelope, I think, some zebra. Um, I think those are all I can see out here, and I think I got them right. I know the giraffes and zebras, but are those antelope? I don't know, but I'll call them that. But anyway, we'll come on in and get another side. Uh, keep things private for them. Now, so you leave the master bedroom straight across. Of course, there is a door that shuts off the master bedroom. You got closet space straight in, and they probably have supplies. Yeah, they have a few supplies there, so we'll not open that up. We have the master bathroom. Sorry for the candle light, it came on. Hello, hello. Um, we have the corner shower, again, theming. The Lion King theming tile with a nice soaker tub in the master. Again, the theming uh, goes throughout the room here. Man, foam in the bathroom. <laughs> oh boy, that's something. And I didn't know if you noticed this, I didn't point it out. There's a television there. So if you're soaking in the tub, taking a shower, and you have to, I guess, taking a shower. Don't want to miss your soaps? Haha, <laughs> dad joke. Um, here's some more theming in the main room. Here, nice seating area. 
That's the access to that long balcony that we showed. Nice chair in the corner. So we have two chairs in each, one in each corner. We have the pull-out couch. This room, this three bedroom, sleeps 14 people. Has four bathrooms. 14 people, four bathrooms. So the uh, dining area here with a large kitchen area, full kitchen, of course. Theming on lights. The artwork. The open kitchen living room area. I'm gonna turn around and give you a view of this wall here. Again, the theming, this side of the room, and again, theming with the cutouts, the chairs in the corners there, large television. We have a stackable washer and dryer, but we're gonna take a quick left here. Uh, this is going to be the second bathroom that we're looking at. It has a vanity, a single vanity with the uh, shower tub unit with unique tiles on the wall. Beautiful, nice. See the lighting in the bathroom. Adequate space, very nice. This is a closet here that is storage. So I'm not gonna open it up, uh, but it's a closet. We're gonna go up the staircase. So remember, this is a three bedroom. We've seen the master, we've seen the living room, dining room, kitchen. So now we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna find two more bedrooms, two more bathrooms. But unlike Old Key Lo West, the loft has a room for viewing of television. And this is also a pullout. So that's how you're gonna get all your adults, not adults, but people to sleep in, 14 people in this room. Two in the master, two in the pullout in the living room. Upstairs here you have two in the pullout. And we're gonna go over to the left. And of course, just show you the theming on everything. This over is an overview to the living room space down below and the dining. Again, you can see the animals are out grazing. Very nice. Let's go into the bedroom upstairs. Again, office space. This would have two beds in it. Uh, for four people to be able to sleep. Uh, this will also have a balcony upstairs off of this bedroom. So we'll open the slider here, take a gander. We got uh, room for two and straight across is the other bedroom balcony. So that balcony below us is for that main level and it runs from that balcony there to this balcony here so you have a ton of space for enjoying the outside savannah for a sitting area or you can stay inside and enjoy the view so again office space i love those chairs would love to take them home but i can't do that theming of course you can see where the lights are on the wall that that's where the beds would be. Again, theming for the map there. Come into the corner here and do a swing around. Each of the rooms have a TV, including the loft has a TV. We're gonna go straight across to this bathroom here. Again, just like the others, hello again. Hope you're enjoying our tours of these rooms. Remember, if you like our content, uh, please subscribe and uh, we would appreciate it. Uh, make comments, have you stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge? Have you been one of the lucky ones to stay in a three bedroom here? This is just amazing. Uh, Gail says we definitely have to bring the family here and stay here. Um, that's a lot of points. It really is, but um, I'm sure it'd be worth it.
So now we're going over into the other bedroom. And again, it's similar to the one bedroom that we just looked at, set up as an office space. We're gonna go over into the corner and do kind of a sweep of the room. But it gives you an idea of the space and where the two beds would go would be below these uh, artwork, hang, hanging artwork that they have. I like the lights, again, the detail of the lights. They look like sticks that have been, uh, have been twined together, I guess you would say. So again, very, very nice. Going straight across, have a bathroom, and there I am again. I'm everywhere. Have a bathroom with a uh, vanity, big counter space, a full tub. Again, different tile work, I like that. You know, they change it up a little bit, so there's a little bit of a different design to each of them, so it's not just cookie cutter for each room. And again, as we always say, that is uh, Disney. They theme it, that's what they're about, Imagineering, how they theme things, and they think everything through and make it so nice, so. Anyway, what do you think? What do you think about this three bedroom? Look at that lamp, that's uh, gorgeous. What do you think about this uh, three bedroom? A lot of space for the family. So something to consider, can you do it? Um, can you, uh, I don't know, resist buying more points? Um, I don't know, to stay here, boy, it would be awesome. So again, uh, put comments in. Have you stayed at the uh, three bedroom over at Kadani Village? Uh, did your family enjoy it? Did you uh, have enough room? So anyway, I'm going to get out of here so these guys can have some room to work. So hold on. We'll see you in a minute. Well, what better way to end our day of touring the rooms at Animal Kingdom Lodge than being back at the savannah and watching these majestic animals move around. Uh, what a wonderful thing to be able to be part of as a DVC member. So as always, thanks for joining us on our DVC journey. We hope we really enjoyed touring these rooms and we look forward to seeing you on our next DVC journey. Bye.